Arthritis is very common. It occurs in about one out of four American adults. And by 2040, they estimate that 78 million Americans are gonna have arthritis. Now, every year in my office, I see lots of patients who are suffering from arthritis, and they come in because they're having joint pain and they're having difficulty performing daily activities. There are several common myths that are associated with this condition, and I will debunk some of these, and I hope that this video will help you if you're suffering from arthritis. And the first myth that I'm gonna cover in this video is the belief that doing exercise or running can actually cause arthritis, which is not the case. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York. I practice arthroscopic surgery and I specialize in sports medicine. There are a number of risks that are associated with arthritis, and those include obesity, older age, sex, and having had a prior injury. So let's run through these each individually. So to start off with obesity, in the United States, 31% of people who are obese are diagnosed with arthritis versus only 16% in those people who have a normal weight. So that's double the risk of developing arthritis in those people who are obese. Now, in terms of older age, I think everybody is used to seeing that older people are the ones who tend to get arthritis. And so studies show that about 50% of people over the age of 65 develop arthritis versus only about seven to 10% of those people who are younger than 44 years old. Sex also seems to have some risk and studies show that about 60 to 65% of people who develop arthritis are women. And then finally, prior injury to the knee is very commonly associated with developing arthritis years down the road. So imagine if someone had suffered a meniscus tear or an ACL tear, many years down the road, they will often develop arthritis as there was some damage to the cartilage. Now, how often does this occur? So studies indicate that about 50 to 60% of patients who have suffered a significant injury to their knee will eventually develop arthritis. With these risk factors in mind, so it's understandable that some people may believe that being physically active or performing exercise or running might lead to development of arthritis, but this is not the case as we'll review now in some of these studies. And there is a meta-analysis that was done, about 5,000 patients, and what they found was that there was no association between being physically active and hours of activity per week and the development of arthritis down the road. And that's either finding arthritis on an x-ray or having painful arthritis. And there was a similar study of about 1,200 middle-aged people, average age in their 50s, and they followed them for nine years out and they found that those people who are physically active did not have any higher risk of developing arthritis than those people who were sedentary. Now, what about running specifically? So a lot of patients come to my office and they, and they believe that having had run for years in the past is what may have led them to get arthritis. And again, the studies seem not to bear this out. And here there was another meta-analysis of about 15 studies that looked at runners versus those who were a control group that weren't running, and they found that there was no increased risk in the runners of developing arthritis. And not only that, interestingly, those people who were uh, runners had about a 50% less risk of needing knee surgery in the future because of arthritis compared to those who are not runners. So there was seemingly some protective effect for those people who are running. So the next logical question is, does the amount of running actually make a difference as to this risk of getting arthritis in the future? And so again, there was another meta-analysis of over 100,000 people, and they looked at three groups. So one group was people who were just recreational runners, one was a group that was a control group that didn't run, and one were elite you know, runners that were running a lot every week maybe competitive runners. So these were three different groups that they looked at to see what happened with their risk. And so what they found was that recreational runners had the lowest risk of developing arthritis in the future. They had about a 3.5% risk of developing arthritis versus about 10% risk of developing knee arthritis in those people who were not runners. That's almost a threefold increased risk in those people who are not runners. 
And so the next part we should talk about is the volume of running or how much running someone is doing. And here, there is some indication that those people who are doing excessive amount of running, maybe competitive runners or elite runners or people doing large amount of endurance running, the study showed that those people actually had a higher risk of developing arthritis down the road. So here, about 13% of those more elevated runners were developing arthritis. And again, that's compared to 10% in more sedentary people and only 3.5% in a recreational runner. So here it seems that doing some amount of running is protective, right? So doing no running is not good. Some running is better, but too much running again is not good and actually can lead to some arthritis in the future. And there are some studies that look to try to give us a breakdown of what recreational is versus more endurance type of running that can run into a problem, excuse the pun, of developing arthritis in the future. And so one study found that for those people who were averaging 42 kilometers or less per week, they were more recreational runners and had this lower risk of developing arthritis versus those who were doing more than 90 kilometers per week who were more these endurance runners and were at the higher risk of developing arthritis. Now, the evidence that we've been talking about for running does not translate over to other sports such as football and soccer where there's an increased risk of getting an injury. And as we just discussed before, that having had a prior injury is a significant risk for developing knee arthritis down the road. So here, a meta-analysis of about 17 studies with over 8,000 individuals looked at these different types of competitive sports. And what they found was that soccer players had a 3.5 times higher risk of developing arthritis compared to people who were not playing soccer. Those people who were involved with wrestling had four times greater risk of developing knee arthritis. And those people who were playing American football had nine times greater risk of developing arthritis. And again, this is because there's a higher risk of them having developed or suffering an injury while they were playing. Let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. So number one, we debunked this myth. So based on several scientific studies, being physically active, doing exercise, and even running has not been found to be associated with the risk of arthritis. Number two, recreational running may actually be protective against developing arthritis in the future. Number three, conversely, competitive or elite high endurance running may actually be too much for the knee and has been associated with an increased risk of developing arthritis. And number four, certain sports such as American football, soccer, which can be associated with injuries, has a higher risk of those people developing arthritis down the road. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe below. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.